Most people assume that waking up at 2 a.m. is caused by the water they drink before bed. It feels logical. You wake up, you go to the bathroom, you blame hydration. But the truth is, for the vast majority of people, this explanation is incomplete. That sudden awakening, especially if it happens at the same time every night, is more than a full bladder. It is your body sending an internal signal that something in your nighttime biology is out of balance. Understanding what drives this pattern is not just about better sleep. It's about uncovering deeper clues to your overall health. Human sleep is not one long unbroken block of unconsciousness. It is an intricate sequence of cycles, each lasting about 90 minutes, flowing between light sleep, deep restorative sleep, and REM dreaming. Behind this rhythm is your circadian clock, a network of timekeepers in your brain and cells that dictate when hormones rise, when your body temperature dips, and when your repair systems go to work. In a healthy pattern cortisol, the primary stress hormone begins low at night, melatonin rises to help you drift into sleep, and your organs slip into their night shift duties. The liver filters and detoxifies, the brain's lymphatic system flushes away waste proteins, and tissues quietly rebuild. But when something disturbs this finely tuned orchestration, your body's alarm clock goes off internally and you wake up. Waking consistently at 2 a.m. often points to a very specific disruption. Your body's repair and regulation systems are being interrupted mid-check. Between roughly 1 and 3 a.m., both traditional medical science and ancient health systems agree that the liver is in peak activity, processing nutrients, neutralizing toxins, and balancing stored energy if this process is strained, whether from stress hormones, unstable blood sugar, or overstimulation before bed, the signal to your brain is strong enough to pull you out of sleep. One of the most underestimated causes of middle of the night awakenings is an untimely surge in cortisol. Cortisol is designed to keep us alert during the day and drop at night so repair can begin. But modern life has turned that curve upside down Chronic mental stress, overuse of caffeine, late night work, and even unresolved emotional tension can keep cortisol levels elevated well into the night. When cortisol spikes at 2 a.m., the effect is immediate. Your heart rate rises slightly, your brain becomes more alert, and within seconds you're awake, often with the sensation that something jolted you out of deep sleep. Some people feel restless, others start replaying the day's worries, which only fuels another cortisol surge, locking the body into a wakeful state. Physiologically, this, this stress-driven wakefulness is the same mechanism our ancestors relied on for survival. A middle of the night noise in the dark could, could mean danger and the body reacted instantly. The problem today is that the trigger is rarely physical danger, it's an overactive stress axis that hasn't been told it's safe to stand down. What's more, these cortisol surges can become learned patterns. If the body expects to be awake at a certain time, the nervous system can begin preparing for it subconsciously, raising cortisol before you even open your eyes. Breaking this cycle requires more than simply going to bed earlier. It demands a reset of the body's stress rhythm, calming the mind before bedtime, and ensuring the nervous system stays in its rest and repair mode through the night. Not all 2A mill awakenings are about stress. Sometimes they're about energy, or rather the sudden lack of it. Your body runs on glucose even while you sleep. After your last meal, blood sugar naturally declines as cells draw energy for repair, growth, and organ maintenance. But if your evening meal or snack is high in refined carbohydrates or sugars, that drop can happen too quickly. When glucose dips below your body's comfort zone during the night, your brain responds as if it's facing a crisis. It sends an urgent signal to release counter-regulatory hormones, adrenaline, cortisol, and glucagon to raise blood sugar back to safe levels. The problem is that these hormones are not subtle. They trigger increased heart rate, alertness, and in many cases, a sudden awakening. This is why some people wake up feeling strangely hungry or restless, even if they've only been asleep for a few hours. Others might not feel hunger, but experience a mind that switches on instantly with thoughts racing. What's happening is a chemical jolt designed to save you from perceived fuel shortage. The good news 
is that you can prevent these nighttime sugar swings with strategic eating. Balancing your evening meal with protein, healthy fats, and fiber slows down glucose absorption, keeping your energy levels steady for hours. A handful of almonds with Greek yogurt or a slice of turkey rolled with avocado will sustain you much longer than a cookie or a piece of bread before bed. By stabilizing nighttime blood sugar, you protect your sleep from hormonal alarms that pull you awake at 2 a.m. Between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m., the liver is in one of its busiest states. Modern science and traditional medicine both agree on this. This is when your body focuses heavily on detoxification, processing, and repair. The liver filters out metabolic byproducts, processes nutrients from earlier meals, and manages the release of stored energy into your bloodstream. When the liver is overloaded, whether from alcohol, heavy evening meals, excess toxins, or ongoing inflammation, it struggles to complete this night shift quietly. The result? Signals are sent to the brain indicating that something is amiss. This can trigger the release of stress hormones, subtly elevate body temperature, or activate digestion nerve pathways, all of which are capable of waking you up. Alcohol is a major culprit here. Even small amounts in the evening can cause the liver to prioritize metabolizing ethanol over its other repair functions, leading to disturbed sleep cycles and early awakenings. Similarly, eating large, rich meals late at night forces the liver into overdrive, delaying the start of its restorative work. Supporting your liver's nighttime duties starts in the daytime. Adequate hydration, a diet rich in cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, kale, and Brussels sprouts, and limiting alcohol all give the liver a lighter load at night. Finishing your last meal at least three hours before bed also allows digestion to wind down before your liver's peak repair window begins. When your liver's work is efficient and unburdened, the entire sleep cycle benefits the brain remains in deep stages longer, the nervous system stays in rest mode, and the chances of waking at 2 a.m. diminish dramatically. The goal is not just to be asleep during these hours, but to allow your body's internal maintenance team to do its work without interruption. At the center of healthy sleep is a delicate interplay between hormones, and when that balance is disturbed, your nights become fragmented. Melatonin, often called the sleep hormone, is the signal that tells your body it's time to power down. Cortisol, its counterpart, should naturally drop at night and rise in the morning to help you wake. But in our modern environment, that natural rhythm is often flipped. Artificial light from screens, late night work, or even bright kitchen lighting can suppress melatonin production. Just two hours of blue light exposure in the evening can reduce melatonin levels by as much as 23% making it harder to stay in deep sleep through the night. And when melatonin is low, your circadian rhythm becomes unstable, which can cause you to wake at the same time every night. Serotonin, the neurotransmitter that stabilizes mood and serves as a precursor to melatonin, also plays a role. Low serotonin levels, often linked to chronic stress, lack of daylight exposure, and nutrient deficiencies, can impair melatonin synthesis. Without enough serotonin during the day, your body struggles to make the melatonin you need at night, leaving your sleep more vulnerable to interruptions. Restoring these rhythms is about more than taking a supplement. It's about retraining your body's natural clock. Morning exposure to natural sunlight helps anchor your circadian rhythm, signaling your brain when to release serotonin during the day and melatonin at night. In the evening, dimming lights, avoiding screens, and using warmer light tones allows melatonin to rise naturally, creating the conditions for deeper, uninterrupted rest. If you're consistently waking at 2 a.m., the goal is not simply to fall back asleep faster. It's to prevent the wake-up from happening in the first place. That means addressing the root causes we've explored. One, master stress before bed. Incorporate a calming ritual at night. 10 minutes of slow diaphragmatic breathing can lower cortisol and slow your heart rate, preparing your body for sustained rest. Mindfulness or prayer can also shift your nervous system into parasympathetic mode, reducing the likelihood of a cortisol surge in the early hours. Two, stabilize blood sugar. 
Have your last meal at least three hours before bed and make it balanced. Moderate protein, healthy fats, and fiber-rich vegetables. If you tend to crash at night, a small protein-based snack like cottage cheese with cinnamon or a boiled egg can help keep glucose steady until morning. Three, protect your liver's night shift. Limit alcohol in the evening and avoid heavy late night meals. Support liver detox pathways with foods rich in sulfur compounds and antioxidants. Garlic, onions, Brussels sprouts, and leafy greens. These nutrients make your liver's workload lighter, reducing the chance of wakefulness during its repair window. Four, Reset your light environment. Step into morning sunlight within an hour of waking to lock in your circadian rhythm. In the evening, turn off bright overhead lights and switch to warm amber tones. If screens are unavoidable, use blue light filters or wear blue light blocking glasses. Five, reinforce hormonal balance naturally. Spend time outdoors during the day, move your body regularly, and consume foods that support serotonin production, such as tryptophan-rich turkey, nuts, seeds, and fermented foods that support gut health. By combining these strategies, you're not just patching the problem. You're restoring the body's natural sleep architecture. You're creating a biological environment where melatonin rises on cue, cortisol stays quiet at night, blood sugar remains steady, and your liver works undisturbed. The result is not only sleeping through 2 a.m., but waking in the morning feeling fully restored with the kind of deep energy that carries you through the day. Waking up at 2 a.m. isn't just an inconvenience. It's your body's way of waving a flag, telling you that something in your internal ecosystem needs attention, whether it's stress hormones whispering, stay alert, blood sugar crashing and sounding the alarm, or your liver struggling to work through the night. These signals are not random, they're messages. And when you learn to decode them, You reclaim control over your nights and ultimately your days. The beauty of this is that the solutions are within reach. You don't need expensive devices, extreme diets, or complicated routines. You need to realign your body with the rhythms it was designed to follow. Rhythms that kept humans thriving long before artificial light, round-the-clock stress, and processed food disrupted them. When cortisol quiets at night, melatonin flows naturally, and your organs work without interference, Sleep becomes what it should be, deep, unbroken, and restorative. The reward is more than just sleeping through the night. It's waking up without fog, without the heaviness of fatigue, with the kind of clear energy that makes you feel fully alive. It's protecting your brain, balancing your hormones, and giving your body the nightly repair it needs to keep you strong for years to come. Every 2 a.m., Wake up is an opportunity to listen, adjust, and restore. The power lies in your daily choices, what you eat, how you wind down, how you manage light and stress. Begin tonight. Protect your nights and you'll transform your days because when you give your body the right conditions, it knows exactly how to heal, how to repair, and how to let you sleep straight through until morning.